everybody, it's me, Paw Paul Sneakers. We're here at Lockworks in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I got some things I gotta take care of, but we're gonna see some neat stuff while we're here. So let's go inside. Look at this. All different kinds of locks. You've got locks for car keys. Those are the little push button kind. Now open your door without actually putting the key in the lock. And then we got pad locks, like you might use one of these for locking up your bicycle at school. All different kinds. These are door locks like you have on the front of your house. Here's an electronic one. Again, no key. Check these out. Do you know what this is? This is a safe. You know what a safe is? It's just what it says it is in its name. It's to keep your stuff safe so it can't go away without you knowing about it. <laughs> See how it's locked? But this one, it's what's called a combination lock. You have to have the combination of numbers to get into it. Now my friend showed me this one. Let's see if I can do it. First number I need is 77, 90, 80, 9, 9, 78, 77. Then we're going to go this way, past the number 15 twice. That was one. That's two. And then we're going to go to it and stop on it again. See the 10? There's the 15. Then we're going to go back. we got to go past the number 53. There it goes, 50's over there. So we're gonna go back around and we're looking for it again. Think I got it? All right, now we're gonna see if I did this right. I didn't do it right. So guess what? It doesn't open. But when you do the numbers in the right order, they open. Now here's a little bit different one. Makes it simpler. This, is a digital lock. You just press numbers. But do you see something neat about this safe that's different from that one? Looks like a mailbox, doesn't it? You can put stuff in here, and when you shut it, it falls down in. You don't have to open up the safe to put the stuff in it. But when we're ready, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, we push the button, still nothing. Well, let's try this again. Hey, there you go. The whole trick to safe is knowing which numbers to press and how to press them, or which dial to turn, and which way to turn it. But there's one thing that this place is really used for a lot. And this is the reason why I'm here. The other day at home, I locked myself <laughs> out and couldn't find my extra key. Luckily enough, I got in later, but what I'm here for today is to get another spare key. That way I have it in case I ever lose this one, got another one. Let me introduce you to Kyle here, a friend of mine. He's Hi. gonna help me out. Kyle, can you help me with a key? Absolutely I can. But why don't you help me cut this key today? That'd be awesome. I've never done that before. So we're going to start over here with the duplicator. So the first thing you need to do is put that key into this clamp over here. Like with, this? With facing this way. Okay. Just like that. So we're going to go like that, clamp it in. All right. And then we have that particular key right back here. So go ahead and grab one of those keys. If you look back here, kids, you see there's all different kinds of keys, so we got to have the right one. In this case, it's this one. All right, we're going to do that over here. Clamp it in the same way. The same way. Like that, tighten that and down. tighten that down. So now, now we need to make sure that they're matched up. So all we have to do is flip up this little bar here to make sure that this one and this one are lined up and it looks like they are okay so now what you're going to do is press this orange button here okay and then lift up and the machine will start and then you make sure you keep one hand here and one hand over here to keep yourself safe okay and then you run the edge of that the edge of this along that key and while you're doing that 
it's gonna cut the key over here. So I wanna make sure that this stays touching this. That way when it cuts over here, because I bet this and this are lined up the same, as this one goes up, it goes up. When it goes down, it goes down to make this key match this key. You are correct. All right, so let's see your stuff. Hand here, hand here. Push the button. Pull down. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Touch there. I see. From the other side? Start from over here. Come a little faster and easier. So now we're going to put. Oh, I see. Now, do I just go over it the one time? Over it again if you want, just to make sure you got it cut perfect. Let's do that. And since it's not making any noise anymore, you've cut your own key. Awesome. So now we take this and we take this key out. Okay. And you'll notice it's still kind of got some stuff hanging on it. Okay. So we're going to push this green button here. All right. And then we're going to clean it on this wire wheel. And that is your new key. Now let's see here. So when we do this, kids, if you look, these keys are now cut the same. Now if you're wondering the way this works, that round circle on your door, on the doorknob, that your key goes into. Inside that hole, there's a little cylinder. It's round and it's long. And it's got little pegs in it, like that. And what happens is when the key goes in, these little ups and downs make these little pins that are inside here go up and down till they match the combination, like on a safe, and then you can turn it. And what does that do then? That unlocks the door so you can get in. Like this right here. This lock is cut away so you can see the pins and the springs. And then once everything lines up, it turns. Great friend. Now, did we do anything wrong? Was there anything wrong while we were here? I think there was one thing. Well, well, you didn't straighten your tie right away. Like it's oh, my tie wasn't straight to begin with. Well, I'll have to make sure that's good next time. Well, kids, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody, it's me, Papa Sneakers. We're going to do some crafts today. With Thanksgiving coming up, got something special. We're going to make a turkey puppet. We're going to need some things. So, I have some popsicle sticks. Now, I've got colored popsicle sticks, but you can make them with even the regular popsicle sticks like you might have at home in your freezer. You might have to eat the popsicle first, though. A couple of those. Then comes some, some construction paper. I'm using colored construction paper, but you can use white paper and crayons or markers, whatever you have at the house. So, and then we're going to need some tape, some glue, whether it be the squeezy glue, or I'm using a glue stick so it's not as messy. And you can draw your eyes on, but I'm using some googly eyes that I got from the store. All right, now the first thing we have to do is we have to outline our turkey. And guess where we're going to draw it from? Right there, our hand. We got the head, four feathers, and the body. So here's what we do. Right there. All 
one right. Yeah, I need my scissors. Got my safety scissors. Now they don't have a pointy end, so they don't hurt if you get poked. Okay? So now let's cut this out. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. My grandkids are going to come over with my kids. We're going to sit down. We're going to eat. I like turkey, gravy, stuffing. Stuffing is really good. What's your favorite? Now, this color right here. You know what color this is? Oh, wait a minute. Yep, it's brown. out some feathers. We're going to do a yellow feather. And I know there's not really a purple turkey, but I like purple. So we're going to cut out a purple feather. Orange feather. And a red feather. Black, what we're going to use for the black is we're going to make his feet. again because what else does a turkey have turkey has a beak that's right so let's cut out a beak all right now let's glue on these so let's move this over to here or down here so I can 
put this on here to make sure I don't get glue all over my countertop. Gobble, gobble, gobble. All right. Now let's put on... This one for the red feather. And the orange feather. And the yellow feather. Looking good. One foot. Two foot. Let's see here. Ooh, I like this size right here. So we're going to go with these googly eyes. Alright, and it's not a puppet until it has the sticks on the back. So here's the important part. Now, got one stick. We want it to stand up nice and tall. So I'm going to use a couple different, a couple sticks. Alright. That ought to work. And I'm going to get off a couple pieces of my tape. Push it down real good. Make sure we get it all on there so it stands up nice and tall. I'm going to do one more piece down here at the bottom to help hold that stick in place really good. Alright, looks like we might have it. Look at that, boys and girls. A turkey puppet. I think it looks pretty good, don't you? All right. Now, if you like doing that and you want to see more crafts with me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down in the corner and check with your parents or your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, somebody. And if you can, Hit the bell button that's down there too. And what that'll do is that'll tell you anytime we put up a new video. And you can come back and watch. So hit subscribe. Also give us a like. And we'll see you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye.
Everybody, it's me, Paw Paw Sneakers, and we're at Zeroni's here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I've got a really special friend I want you to meet, Captain Zeroni. He's a real superhero when it comes to making pizza. We're going to go inside, so come on. Come on in. You'll find a lot of superhero stuff in this place. Check it out. Video games, superhero posters. There's even a big Superman back there. Look, there he is. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Captain Zeroni. How you doing? Hey, Captain. I heard you're going to help me make a pizza today. I am. Let's do this. Let's find out what you like in your pizza. I like sausage and pepperoni. Well, let's go do it. Following you. All right. All right, well, what do you say we make this pizza, huh? Let's do this, man. All right, first thing you got to do when you're making Gotta wash your hands, gotta keep them clean and sanitary, right? That works. So there's a little trick that I use when I wash my hands. First you gotta get some water on, then you gotta get some soap. You gotta scrub, this is the most important part. I like to sing happy birthday when I'm scrubbing. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Get up to your elbows, happy birthday to you. And then we rinse them off. Now we're gonna make a pizza. Are you guys ready for this? I'm hungry. All right. First thing we gotta do is we need what? Pizza dough. So that's what everything starts with. We're gonna go ahead right here. We're gonna grab ourselves a dough. We're gonna put it in some semolina. Semolina. We're just gonna bubble up. We're gonna dock it a little bit. Now here comes the fun part, ready? Yep. Your turn. Yeah! People got some with me. We did. Yep, I didn't wash my hands. You didn't wash your hands. So nope. I'm eating this well. Well, then we're just going away. Better start over. Here we go. In the semolina. Dock a little bit. Sausage. We can definitely put some sausage on there. All right. So we 
side down here, grab some raw sausage, because that's how I like to put it on a pizza. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Again, smaller circle. Do you remember how many go in the middle? I think it was eight. It was eight. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we need it. How many more in the middle? How about one little bit bigger one right in the middle? One little bigger one right in the middle. There we go. Now I got nose on the pizza. Now because I touched some water, raw sausage, I have to wash my hands again. Wash your hands again. So in the kitchen we have a hands-free hand sink. So it's got these little tabs. So I can use my forearm, turn it on, get some water, get some soap, and then we need to cut a scrub for how long? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Get up to your elbows. Happy birthday to you. All right, we're done. Dry off my hands. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of this pizza. More cheese. And then we're going to put it in the oven. All right. Slides down here. A little bit of cheese.
Crouton topping or potato chip topping? Crouton toppings for me. Croutons it is. Sprinkle some croutons on there. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Just make it bake a little bit. And we're gonna give you what we call a zeroli. It's little rolls that we make out of our pizza dough. Put that right there. Close the door. That's gonna take a couple minutes to cook. Now should we go check on your pizza? Let's check on the pizza. Alright, let's do it. Pizzas get these big bubbles on it. We have a poking stick. So if you look in there, you see any bubbles? I don't see any big I bubbles. I don't see any. I see one. I see one right here. So we reach all the way there. I see and it. And poof, pop the bubble. All right. All right. Then we're gonna. We, we can't just put the pizza here on the table, right? No. No. So we're gonna have to put that on a tray. We got a tray here. Now, can I grab the pizza with my bare hands? No, you cannot. And too hot. Too hot, that's right. So we're gonna need what we call a pizza peel or a pizza panel. That's gonna help us grab it out of there. Now, when I put it down here, can you just eat the whole pizza? No, you can't eat the whole pizza. No, we gotta cut it, right? Yes, we do. So let's grab a pizza cutter. We got a pizza cutter right there. Look at all those pizza cutters. Yeah, we got all kinds of them. We got big ones for thicker crust. We got sharper ones. We have duller ones. I've got butter brushes for my butter and a dough scraper. They got a lot of cutters because they make a lot of pizzas all day long. All day long. Now you can either have a pizza here, but what if you want to take the pizza with you? And you have to put it in a box, don't you? You can't take it on this, no, right? No, no, no. You gotta keep that. Well, let's look at our boxes. I like these. Whenever your guy comes to my house to deliver the pizza, he has one of these on his roof. It lights up and they stick. We've got all kinds of shapes boxes. We have this one for a 16 inch pizza. We've got this one for a 14 inch pizza. And we've got this one for a 10 inch pizza. So what was that again? I think we made a 14 inch pizza, right? We made a 14 inch pizza. This one is gonna be too small. Too small. This one is gonna to be too big. So I think this one with the 14 on it is the one that's gonna be just right. Absolutely, now what about the mac and cheese? Mac and cheese, you gotta put that in a box too because I can't take that home in your nice plate. So we have a mac and cheese box. Right, so we have four different kind of boxes. I think our pizza's done, should we go check on it? Let's check that right quick, oh, right. we don't want it to mess up. Whoa, look at this. Look at it coming out of that oven. We're gonna grab the pizza peel. Grab the pizza. Put it down. And we're gonna cut it. Now we're gonna do eight cuts of this to make eight different pizza slices. Okay, so we're gonna cut it once down the middle. One. We're gonna cut it once down the middle the other way. Two. And we're gonna cut that in half. Three. And we're gonna cut this in half. Four. And since you're going across all the way, that makes two pieces for every cut, making eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we gotta keep this hot so you can eat it, right? Correct. And we're gonna go put it up in our expo window. Now our expo window has these heat lights. Keep the pizza hot and so we can bring it to your table. Now, since we have that done, you think that mac and cheese is ready? Well, let's check it. Let's check the mac and cheese. So, you gotta grab the basket, and a checker paper, so we have something to put it on. Now I can open up this oven. Can I grab that with my hands? Too hot. Too hot. I'm gonna grab this. Put that right there. I'm gonna grab a pair of tongs. I'm gonna grab another pair of tongs, and I'm gonna do a crab impression. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this bun and put it right there. Now, where should I put this? I think we put that up in the window too. Up in the expo window. Let's do that. Now we have a pizza and a mac and cheese for you to enjoy. You ready? Let's do that. All right, we're heading out. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some booth right here. 
here? This is where I'm working. Hey Shelly, do you mind grabbing us the pizza, the mac and cheese in the window? Absolutely. So, should we grab some plates and forks and knives? I like plates and forks. I usually eat pizza with my fingers, but you never know. Here we go. Two plates. One. Two. Two sets of silverware. One. Two. Are you ready to eat some pizza mac and cheese? I'm ready. Now, ooh, that looks good. Look at all of that. Thank you. Now, while we're waiting for this to pull off just a hair, just a reminder, if you like us, make sure to subscribe, hit the button down at the bottom of the screen. Also, give us a like and share. Also, Zeroni's, one of my favorite places to eat pizza, you can find them on Facebook, and where else can we find them? Facebook and Instagram and online their website at Zeroni's.com. Captain Zeroni, he's a definite superhero when it comes to making pizza. So let's see what we got here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece right here. Put that right on your body. Go back for a second. I forgot to say, kids, make sure we have a special giveaway going on right now that we're going to be giving away a whole bunch of toys like the ones I do for the toy review. So make sure and check out that video. Let's eat, and we're going to call this a day. All right. Thanks for coming good. out, kids. Bye. Y'all have a good day.